All right, so I'm working on my own at the mine today, waiting to take some delivery of new equipment because there's no way I'm gonna be able to reach my goal this season uh, with just an excavator and a loader. But as I'm waiting for the equipment to arrive, uh, I wanna work on the wash plant a little bit here and actually remove one of the levels of the sorting platform. I don't need three different sorting levels on this shaker. This is the way I purchased it. This is the way it came and I wanna remove the bottom level. Let me show you what I mean. Just filling up the tailing pond here. You can see the whole, this is a recirculating pit. There's two sluice boxes over there. For those that didn't see episode five, I'm going to suggest that you do. Pretty awesome what we built here. Uh, looking down here, the water overflows. This catches all the uh, tailings from the sluice box and the shaker plant right here. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is a multi-stage aggregate sorting table basically. It has three different levels of sorting and then it dumps the fine powder down out the bottom of the hopper there. Now I have uh, these spray bars up top move a lot of water. And one of the things I've noticed is down on this bottom chute right here, I get a lot of water loss and I'm fearing that I'm actually getting a lot of gold being pushed out to the side and down into the pit. So I'm gonna be removing the bottom tray as I only need the top two to sort it down and then the rest can fall right into the sluice pan and be washed. So a lot of people think that uh, YouTube Gold is actually about me trying to catch gold. Uh, and really, it's about the experience of having fun with a great hobby that's so huge and massive that you can pretty much do whatever your imagination sets, you know, sets your creativity to want to do. So that's exactly what we're doing. Hopefully trying to entertain some YouTube viewers, of course. Guys, hopefully you've earned a like click from you already on this series. And uh, you're showing us some... Uh, uh, some RC community love of course big project we've got big plans for this and I can hardly wait to see these two uh, mines up and running there we go last screws removed that I think I need to remove I might as well just slide this whole unit right out if it were only this easy for real miners Perfect. You gotta do what it takes to keep your mind running and if I gotta lift up my entire shaker plant just to make things work, I'm gonna do that. Nothing is gonna stop me from reaching my goal this season. I don't care if I have to dig dirt with my hands. Turns out it's time for lunch. Okay, so now the water will shoot in, wash the rocks, still shake everything, only sort it into two different aggregates that are led right off of the island into the tailings pond where we can clean them. Uh, this one, like these rocks, I'm not worried about rerunning again. Uh, it's really what's washed off of the rocks. So it's gonna come down into the hopper and then of course fill up the sluice box and away it goes. So this one over here, if you see, these holes were really, really small, causing me a lot of water loss, which carried a lot of dirt and sediment away with it off of that chute. Also causing me an erosion problem right on the island. So kind of killing two birds with one stone here, getting the job done, might as well give it a test. Balanced out, one of the sheets removed. We can see we're still getting some water coming off there, but a heck of a lot less than I was. 
Not a lot of water coming off of the back and great flow down the sluice box. That's exactly what I was looking for. Trying to create that vortex just beyond the ripples, getting that area of air swirling around so it can capture the fine gold. On the top, you guys see these uh, copper rails here. Each one of these outlets is for a tubing called PEX, P-E-X. And what I'm gonna do is get some uh, elbows and some PEX line, kind of elbow off, and each one of these outlets is gonna be connected on either side, making spray bars that have pre-drilled holes that I can move uh, just by turning and give a nice, even cleaning surface across the top of the shaker. Many hours later and I'm still waiting for my equipment to be done. So I've been hard at work at the mine, trying not to waste any time. Uh, Cause you know, downed hours basically means lost gold. So check it out. What do I have in my hand? All built cedar plank for what? Here is my second conveyor belt right here. This is the missing piece. Everybody was wondering what the heck I was doing. This conveyor belt is actually going to be feeding this conveyor belt, which feeds the shaker. It comes off of the back of the trommel. The trommel spits out its rocks it doesn't want, but I still want them washed because I don't have a spray bar in the trommel. Two separate plants, you see, that's what's going on. This conveyor is going to feed pay dirt from this level. It's supposed to slide in nice and easy, but of course it's not going to. I got one warped board. That's okay, we can muscle it into place. It's on a bit of an angle. There we are. Perfect. Right to the end. All right, now the conveyor can be loaded from either side by both excavator and loader if I choose, even at the same time. It is an adjustable speed conveyor, which will be dropping everything right into the hopper right here, carrying it up to the wash plant, getting washed and getting spit out the other side while going down to the sluice box. Where the frick are these guys? I can't see them at all. Normally I can see things coming from miles away and I don't see no delivery company. And they've got my most important pieces of machinery on their truck. And I'm, there's no way I'm gonna get to my season uh, goal of half an ounce if I don't get the pay dirt to the plant. If I don't get the pay dirt to the plant, then I can't run it through the plant. And really a loader and excavator is just insufficient. A whole other day I've lost the sluicing because of this. I got a lot riding on this half an ounce. Hello, it's your five o'clock delivery. How are you doing? About what time? Sure, that... Yeah, no problem, man. Drive safe. We'll see you when you get here. Holy cow, there it is, finally. It's six o'clock at night, but finally the equipment is rolling in. I bet you've never seen one of these before, eh? No. That's it. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Have you ever seen that before? No. <laughs> Was it fun? Um, what are you getting though? Uh, what am I getting? This is all mining equipment. I do a, a show on YouTube called YouTube Gold. YouTube Gold? YouTube Gold, yeah. And you just delivered me a, a huge dump truck and a small bulldozer. But you'll see, check it out, man. Yeah, Give me a high five. YouTube Gold, man, thanks a lot. Hey, let's unbox these. No, 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 the battery's getting.